So I'm going to start with the pointer finger, which is going to be the finger that has um, the graphic tribal print design. I'm just taking a little bit of my golden acrylic, sorry it's hard to see, um, black paint and we're going to draw three, I mean sorry, two lines going downward and then lines zigzagging across them, so. Certainty seems so nice Touching my feet you thought you had it Watching the days rewind and make it right To make this design. Next, the middle finger is going to be the dream catcher. So to make that we're going to make a semicircle at the top. And don't worry if it's crooked, we're going to keep going over it. Now, we are going to fill it in with little curved triangles. And then we're going to draw three lines going down. And then one here. And there. And then we're going to draw our feathers. This is something I would never recommend, but I could not refrain. Because I am not ashamed of it. Take a moment as the moon gets tossed around when you're so upside down. We're going to add some beads to that. So the one in the middle is just is not going to be filled in. And then I also like to add two more beads if I have room. One little there. One right there. And then there is your dream catcher. And then the next nail is the fourth finger, the ring finger. And this one is going to have a feather design. So I'm going to start at the bottom and sort of curve it upward. So there's kind of the base. And then you're just going to fill it in on both sides um, with little flicking motions to get the feathery. There's your feather. And for the last finger, pinky, we are going to do a heart. And this is one of the simplest ones. It's just a small heart that's filled in all the way. So fill up your brush. because we're going to be putting a top coat over it anyway. And so now you have certain so nice. all your designs. And then the last one is the thumb. And this one is a bow. And on my original one I did it sideways. 